Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I'm the Vigil Guy. I love my shed but it's quite dingy. The light's just not up to the job. Fortunately someone gave me this LED security floodlight. It's never been used and I don't need this PIR, so I'm going to rewire it. First things first, I'll make sure it's working by connecting this incredibly short supply line to the mains. Great, it works. Now I can open it up and remove the PIR. Four screws get the back off. And this is what we've got. I know it looks confusing and it's hard to see what's going on, so let me take you through it quickly. First off, these white things. They're just connection covers, just bits of plastic. We can completely ignore those. We can see the mains power coming in at the bottom. The yellow earth cable simply connects to the metal case, so again, we can ignore that. At the very top is our LED, and it's powered by what I'm guessing is a transformer and rectifier. At the bottom is the PIR. This has three wires coming off it. It has a positive and a negative that actually power the unit, and an output lead, the red one. That's because the PIR is just a switch, a basic trigger device. We can see the blue neutral comes from the main supply directly to the PIR. It also goes to the transformer. The brown mains positive connects to the PIR, but you'll note that it does not connect to the transformer. Instead, the red wire from the PIR connects to the blue wire, which in turn connects to the transformer. Now this might seem a little confusing, but it really isn't. If we colour all these wires green, just for convenience, we can actually see that it's a positive output from the PIR that goes directly to the transformer. Don't be concerned by the colour of wiring. It's a useful guide, but colour does not always indicate what's going on inside. So how exactly does this circuit work? Well actually it's quite simple. Working from positive to negative, the mains comes in directly to the PIR and powers it. This is just a glorified switch. Usually the switch is open, meaning current cannot pass through it, but when it detects movement, the switch closes and enables the positive connection to the transformer. From the other side of the transformer, the positive flows into and out of the LED. The negative flows back to the mains, completing the circuit and lighting the LED. But I don't need the PIR. I don't need security light in my shed. I need a light that's on when I want it on, so it's necessary for me to cut out the PIR. Thankfully, this is quite easy to achieve. For now, I'll mark this top blue cable of the transformer as positive with a little bit of tape. Now I can cut the PIR from the fitting altogether and remove it. As the mains lead is pathetically short, I'll replace it with another one. I'll start off by splicing the neutrals together, thus the bottom blue on the transformer and the blue one from the mains cable. If you saw my splicing video, this soldering iron technique will be nothing new to you. It makes a very secure, permanent bond. Now I'll connect the two positives. That's the brown and the upper blue, which we've already marked. The yellow and green earth cable needs to be bonded to the chassis, and this crimping ring connector is ideal, but I'm not much of a fan of crimping, so I'll solder it instead. Now I can just reassemble and test. It works, great. And after it's fitted, what a difference. I realize it might not look different from your perspective, but from mine, it's much brighter. It's much whiter. It's very much like daylight. 
that's a great bit of recycling there and a cheap light to run too. And that's it guys, a finished video. If you've got any questions or comments, as always feel free to send them in. If you've got any video requests, I'm happy to try and help there too. Please check out my YouTube channel and of course my other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And that's it for now folks, thanks very much for watching.